Women are not equipped to deal with violence and combat. Women want to be on the same level as men until it's time to be a ass clout man. As you know already, man, work up in this Northampton area as electrical tester. I work in Tenant Stems Yard alone on my jacks. So I went to this guy's house today. Older guy, white guy, he's tall, big, fully greyed off, no hair on his head. And he had what he said was his missus in the yard with him. She looked like she was young enough to be his daughter. You never know, she could have been 35 but looked like she's 25, but still. So anyway, he asked me, oh, what's your worst experience that you've had with one of the tenants? And I said, might not necessarily be my worst experience, but my most memorable experience with one of the tenants. I ended up telling the story. Then I went on to say, you know what, you see me working here on my own and that. I don't feel like this job is appropriate and safe for women to work on their own. Because if things go bad, it can get on top for them. So obviously he's sitting next to his missus. And he must have said something along the lines of, well, you know, there's equal rights and that and women are able to defend themselves. And then he must have turned to his missus and said something like, what do you think about that? And I just thought to myself, I didn't hear her response on that because she was speaking quietly. I didn't really hear her response on that. And I thought to myself, she's probably one of them women with one of them sort of feminist mindsets that, oh, we're on the same level as men. So whatever men can deal with, we can deal with. And it's just not the case, blood. I've seen it. I've seen situations where men turn ugly with women and they can't even defend themselves. Told you lot this story a couple of times. I was walking towards this construction site and when you get to the gates and that, they want to see your ID. One black youth was just charging towards the security guards. One man, one small tiny woman, like five foot nothing. She told him to stop. He said, move out my way. She tried to block his, his route, block his path. He grabbed her, dashed her over the barrier. Fuck Cree. Most people, they'll think, oh, how can you do that to a woman and that? And I'm not saying, I'm not condoning what you've done. What I'm saying is, blood, you're filling the boots of a security guard. You're filling the boots of a man. So when shit comes on top, man are going to deal with you like you're a man. Certain man don't business, blood. My man did not care. Dash this woman over the, over the barrier. Women are not equipped to deal with violence and combat. Some women, yeah, maybe there's a small minority of women who are six foot and have fucking hands like basketball players and that. But for the most part, most women, when it comes to violence and that, they're not equipped for violence. A lot of men are not equipped for violence and combat. But a man will stand a better chance. A man will be tested less. Women are not ready. Even just now, yeah? This is how easily women are intimidated. Even just now, yeah? I must have phoned up one of the tenants earlier, a couple hours earlier, and I said, yeah, I'm going to be at your yard to do the test in a couple of hours. You're aware of the electrical test, yeah? She said, yeah. I said, ah, cool, I'll be there in a couple hours. Turned up to the yard. I see all the blinds all down, all the blinds all shut and that. I go to knock on the door, no answer. I go to ring the woman, no answer. Certain women, when I phone them, they're just intimidated by me. This is how easily women are intimidated. They can be intimidated by someone's voice on the phone. I've had it before. I've gone to tenants' yards and that, knocked on the woman's door. She said, ah, oh, yeah, now's not a good time and that. Next time I've gone there, Fucking the husband's there Everyone's all there And that She probably cancelled it Didn't want me to come in Because I'm a man That's how intimidated women are easily I've had tenants tell me I've gone to their yard and that And then like 20-30 minutes Within the uh, uh, time I'm there They told me like Yeah you know I had a bat waiting Because obviously You called me a couple of hours ago And I thought You know what Just in case things go left here yeah, Let me be prepared and that Women are easily intimidated I've seen it plenty of times. I've had fights on the street and I'm hearing women screaming because they get scared. I've seen videos where men are having fucking fights and, and women are getting scared, you know. I see one of them Fresh and Fit clips. One guy must have pulled up to the Fresh and Fit podcast where they do the podcast. Come to the front door to fight Myron, the tall guy. Yeah? The women started getting shook, blood. My man come to the door saying, yeah, let's come outside. Come outside, let's fight, innit? My man's moving um, Aggie and that. Come outside, let's fight. And the women got shook. He wasn't even posing a threat to them. He didn't have no guns out and you get me waving his swammy and that. Nah. My man just come to the door to fight my man. And the women got shook to the point where they ran out on a fucking balcony. They were scared. That's how scared women are. That's how intimidated women are. The threat of violence, people being violent and that, they get shook blood. See, plenty of videos of people fighting on public transport or fighting in a public area and women are screaming. 
getting scared because someone's getting punched up. No one's getting stabbed up and their hair's not getting cut off, you know. Women are screaming because they get scared. I've had situations where someone looked like they're about to do something dodgy at my front door. You get me, my girl's got something in and I take that out of her hand and I've gone to my front door and she starts getting scared. What are you getting scared for? What are you getting scared for? You, you, you're all right. Women are just easily intimidated. But a lot of women, they got this feminist mindset, they think they're on the same level as man, and it's just not the case, blood. I'm telling you right now, I could go to one of my brethren's yards, and his, bread, and his girl could be as one of these feminist people. I guarantee you, if four guys were at the front door, trying to kick the door off, trying to come in the yard, they would look to us to defend this shit. Imagine, Im Im imagine, imagine how it would be, yeah? Imagine what a gal would think, yeah? If... There's a room full of women and men, yeah? And four guys turn up to the yard, try and kick the door off. And the men say, Do you know what? We ain't handling this situation. Equal rights, you lot go and deal with the situation. No, they will look to us like, blood, you lot go to the fucking front door, back out your things and handle the situation and that. Women think that they're on the same level as men. Nah, 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 nah. Women want to be on the same level as man until it's time to be a Ross Clark man. Imagine when you, uh, Russia was invading Ukraine. Imagine if there was like, I don't know, a whole crowd of people, Ukrainian people out in the street and Zelensky was talking to them and saying, listen, whoever wants to stand and fight, they can stand and fight and whoever wants to flee the country, flee the country. Watch all the women up sticks and leave. They're not, st they're not, they're not hanging around to fight. Yet still they think they're on the same level as man. No. Another situation, same similar situation. If, you know, you're in the yard with your gal and four men kick off the door, run up in the yard and kick the shit out of you lot. If you lot were somehow able to call the police. I say, yeah, look, 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 there's some guys in there keeping us hostage and that. This is my address, blah, 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 blah. When the police eventually get there, imagine you saw a riot van. Full of 10 women get out. You'd be like, what the fuck? No, you'd want 10 fucking big, ugly, strong policemen to run up in the yard, smack their man up and then put them in a fucking police van. You wouldn't want 10 women to pull up. Imagine that. Imagine four men tie you up in your yard right now and you was able to call the police. Would you want five women or would you want five men to pull up? I'd rather five men than fucking 15 women to come save my ass, Clark. Yeah, man. So a job like mine, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable with my girl doing my job because some of the tenants is mad. At home, Saharangi, the night staff, they, they, they're told, they're made, they have to wear stab proof vests and that because one of the tenants them juke one of them and them stab one of them and them. I know it seems unbelievable. You have to think about it this way. This is social housing and that. Where do you think, like, where, I'll ask you this question. Where do you think murderers and rapists and all these mad people live? Do you think they live in the Beverly Hills? Do you think they live in Chelsea? Do you think they live in some tower block, uh, prestigious hotel in Amsterdam? No, they live in fucking council um, houses, blood. Do you think they live in some, the posh suburbs of fucking Surrey? No, they live in fucking council houses, blood. So when you're working in social housing, you're gonna come across the worst of the worst people. Where do you think gang members live? You think you think you think gang members all live in plush hotels and that? Where do you think crackheads live? They live in social housing. So yeah, man, women are not equipped to deal with violence and combat. So all well and good women being on the same level as man and do it filling the boots of a man until it's time to be a man. Like with that security woman that got dashed off the dashed over the barrier. When women are working security in that, I was going to say, you know, it should be a place where it's just women only, whatever establishment that could be. But nah, because what if some men roll up? See, this is the thing. I was even saying this to my girl the other day. Imagine, this is how you know, yeah, women actually need the protection of men, you know. We, as men, just walking around our presence keeps women safe without them fucking knowing, you know. Imagine. Imagine. If there was an island somewhere in the world with 10 out of 10 Instagram models, thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of Instagram 10 out of 10 models, 
but no men on that island. It was just women. Just 10 out of 10. High quality, you get me, best of the best Instagram models. There's hundreds of thousands of them on that island. With no male presence, do you know how many different men from different islands would go over there to invade and enslave and rape off the fucking women? Just a man's presence alone makes a big difference. Me, I've said this before a couple of times. If my stepfather wasn't still at my mum's yard and that, I wouldn't feel safe with my mum just being there with my little sister and that. Because my dad, my stepfather, he has a manly presence and that. So when I'm away, I'm up in Northampton, I can't just fly down to Edmonton in five minutes and that. I feel comfortable that, yeah, there's a manly presence in that yard. Makes a big difference. A manly presence makes a big fucking difference. I'll tell you how a manly presence makes a big difference. You could have a house... That has a sign and you know there is a fucking Rottweiler in that yard. You would think twice, three, five times about breaking into that yard. That Rottweiler could be a fucking pussy. I'm telling you, there's a lot of dogs that bark, but they would never bite anyone, you know. There could be a Rottweiler in the yard opposite you right now. If you know there's a Rottweiler in there, you'd think twice, five times about breaking into that yard. Just because there's a Rottweiler in there. The Rottweiler could be the biggest marshmallow, the biggest pussy ever, but you don't know that. The dog's presence alone is enough to ward off people from breaking into the yard. And it's the same with a man. A lot of men are pussies out here. But you know what? Just that manly presence makes a big difference. If I was going to go and rob a bank, I would rather rob a bank that had no police presence around rather than two pussy old, even if they're old white women, community police officers. Just the fact that there's a police presence there, I would think twice about robbing that bank. I would have to call off the move for that day and go back there another day. Whereas if there's no police presence, I feel a bit more comfortable to go and lick down a bank. Tell me, if there was an island full of hundreds of thousands of Instagram models and that with no male protection... Men will be over there in days to enslave them women and rape them off. So women that think they're on the same level as men, you're deluded. You are deluded. If you're in your yard and your yard gets taken over, home invasion, that if you want, if you call the police, you want five big strong men to come. You do not want no small little women to come. You want five big strong Ross Clark men. To come in there, kick the shit out of them and lock them up in prison. Stay where it's done now.